Welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again today, I've got John in, a retired producer, filmmaker, videographer. <laughs> right, today, I thought we would have a bit of a chin wag about this camera. I don't know if you can see one on the close-up shot, but um, this is the, well, it's not new now, it's over a year old actually, the Panasonic GH5. Mm. Uh, they recently bought out a GH5S, which is um, uh, essentially the same camera, yeah, um, basically. but with a smaller sensor, a 12 megapixel or 10, might be 10 megapixel 10 sensor megapixels, for, for low light use. Yeah. Um, but we've got hold of actually the GH5 and it is amazing. I've, I've written down 10 reasons why I think this would be a worthy investment yeah. for anyone to buy. I yeah. mean, there's a lot more than 10, I'm sure, but there's 10 that I've come yeah, up with. Well, let's read them off, read so, them off. Let's, have a uh, let's start. Well, these aren't in any order, of no, course. No, 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 I um, appreciate that. But the screen on the back, right, although it's filthy. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly the most recommended way of cleaning a screen, is it? No, Mario? not really. You should use um, a nice piece of chamois yeah, leather. Um, the, the screen on the back is um, a really bright screen, really high quality screen. Um, but when you're filming outdoors, oh, it's, it's, it's got a lens cap on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this screen, right, getting back to this screen, uh, it's a fully articulating screen, which is what I wasn't going to actually say, but that is a positive. So that's 11 positives, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unlike the Sonys, the Sonys will tilt upwards. Yeah, no, rubbish. Um, yeah, or, or, or you way. know, but we won't go that way. Yeah. So you can't see. Yeah. What you're doing, but you can with this camera. Well, not so you only that, you out, can you... reverse it and put it back as a positive well, in, as well. Yeah, as well. Yeah. So you've got yeah. you've got the best of all. Yeah. Yeah. Although it does always worry me. Um, am I going to bend it the wrong way? Is it going to snap off? Yeah. But well, if you. It does seem pretty yeah. sturdy. Well, to I mean, be there are certain people that we know who handle cameras, and um, uh, we won't mention any names. But <laughs> I did lend a guy an RB67 once, and uh, it came back to me in a, a just unbelievable state where it was chucked in the boot of his car and just wandered about in there. Uh, I mean, these uh, are but press Bob and I take care of He's a press yeah, yeah, so this screen, when you're using it outdoors, it stays bright. Yeah. Well, with the Sonys, when you're filming in 4K, it dims completely yeah. unusable. This is perfectly usable, which is, a, which is a bonus compared to the Sonys. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know, to me, that's one positive reason. Of, yeah. of, for that alone, the screen's articulating. Yeah. And that is one big positive for using this as a, over and above the Sony's. Yeah. Um, right. And Next the other book. thing is, uh, when you plug in a HDMI lead, uh, there's a prop that I forgot to get. Anyway, don't worry about that. But don't worry about it. When you plug the HDMI lead in, with the Sony's, uh, as we've just noticed actually on that camera there, real pain in the arse. Yeah. Um, that on that and that uh, on that flame, it looks like you're overexposed. Yeah. I'm pretty convinced you're not. Right, right. But I can't tell, you see. Because once you've cut the screen off. Yeah, yeah, once that starts recording, yeah, the yeah. actual camera screen goes blank. <laughs> <laughs> well, which, is, which is dumb. Yeah, um, yeah. This one, it doesn't. When no. you plug the HDMI, you get it on both. Yeah. So if you've got, let's say, for example, you and I are filming yeah. and you want to see what I'm filming, you might yeah. be producing it. Um, I can't see what I'm filming, but you no, can. No, that's it. Or whatever. It's dumb, isn't it? Well, the it? other you know, thing is, Bob, is to, at the same time, is to bring that in. Indeed. Because it's a brilliant yeah. idea, yeah. that What was. a great idea this yeah. was. Panasonic has supplied, in the case, with the... Um, uh, well, not the case, in the box, when you buy yeah. the camera. This comes with it, you know. Um, and that is superb, because that literally just screws onto the... into the uh, sockets there, into the whole... Yeah. Into the holes there, you get the gist, don't you? That just screws yeah. into there, and, and holds that protects. The and that holds the HDMI lead in. Yeah, that's superb, isn't yeah. it? Another right, benefit. Point, yeah, no, another point. Um, this is a very, very. I mean, this is a great point. No recording, but I don't know if you knew that. But there's no you can record for as long as the SD cards run for. Oh yeah. Or yeah. as long as your battery yeah. runs for. Yeah. So if you're running this off mains, yeah, you can just keep on going with yeah. this. And it creates one file. Yeah, well, none of this Isn't stupid half hour thing. No, oh, I mean, no. you know, no. for God's sake. I mean, you know, I mean, all right. When we were filming in film, it was restricted by the length of the film we used. And when we used to use the the the, the Bolexes, the Ariflexes, uh, we had maybe had twenty two minutes filming time. You know, but that was film. Yeah, but, but these days, I mean, but, the thing is, you can go on for hours. But being yeah. restricted to thirty minutes, yeah. like with me, I should have kept kept an eye on the clock to see when we started because yeah. my other cameras will cut out. 
Yeah. In 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if we were yeah, filming... So if we go off, you know what it is. But uh, if we were using two of these, it wouldn't yeah. do. No, no. You know, no. Um, or three no, of these. You can't have another one. Actually, I'm running, I'm running five cameras today, so yeah, you would have yeah. to have five of these to match that. And it's all um, our own property, folks. We yeah, don't borrow yeah, anything yeah, from We're not anybody. sponsored by any of the manufacturers. Nope, we don't get nope. a free kit. We pay for everything. Um, another benefit, which isn't a benefit to me, really, but it is a tremendous benefit at the price point this camera's at internal 10 bit 422 recording yeah, yeah. internal yeah for yeah. me to get 10 bit 422 i have to use my a7r2 which outputs 10 bit or my yeah. a6500 yeah. um, into an external recorder that yeah. does look really blown out doesn't it oh yeah 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 but next point um internal yeah, custom settings. Right. Oh, Super. yeah, well, I mean, this the, he gobsmacked me with this because he said to me, oh, I got all these pre-settings. I thought you were talking about. He said, well, I press that button, it does this. I press that button, it does that. I press that button, it does this. So anyway, he'll tell you what he set it up for, which is yeah. brilliant. Yeah, I mean, on here, you can set it up. It's got custom modes. I don't know. I really don't know if anyone can see that, but it's got custom mode. C1, well, that's on filming mode. Yeah. C1, C2, and C3. Yeah. Right. Now, you can set those up. So whether it be photographic custom modes or video custom modes, well, I'm using this camera for videos. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I've preset those three settings with three different video scenarios. Yeah, right. Dan. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, here. Dan it, yeah. yeah, C1, yeah, yeah. Got it. C2, and C3. Yeah, brilliant. right. Brilliant. Um, so I've got custom one set up um, as just my normal filming mode. Yeah. In case I muck around with the normal filming mode yeah. setting, and then C2 I've got set up for slow motion. All right. So yeah, the slow motion on this is. Pretty, oh, I know. I've seen. I haven't used. I haven't tried no. it yet. And then C3, I've got set up as a cropped mode. It's great on this sensor. Um, if, in normal mode, it re uses the, the whole image sensor, the whole micro four foot sensor yeah. recording yeah. for, for filming the 4K. So there's no pixel binning or whatever. Right. But you can set it up to go into to crop that sensor so it's using only the center portion of the got sensor you. Got you, um, got you. so if you've got a lens this is actually quite a telephoto lens but if you've got a lens that isn't so long as this one and you think oh, i'd love to get in just a wee bit tighter yeah put it on put it on crop mode and it crops it in just that oh, bit tighter brilliant. yeah so on. It's, it's superb um yeah. next one next one we've got um have i said you can create your own menus you know in the Sonys, yeah. the menus are crap. Every single person complains about them. Goes on and on and on, and they haven't put them in a, in a, in a sensible structured order. No, no. Well, they reckon Panasonic's much better. I actually don't find it any better than the Sonys. That's mm, just yeah. me. But what is better, you can set up. You might not be able to see that, but you can go into. Let's go out of that. You can go into a custom. I don't know if you see a custom yeah, menu, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And you can put into that all your regular menu things that you go into. So you might want to set it up for um, uh, your different white balance settings oh, or, you, or your you, different right. filming so modes. You can customize the camera. You, yeah. In a, oh, yeah. Brilliant. And that is so much quicker. You imagine how much quicker that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, to be able you to just get to. just pre-select what you want. Yeah. Now, let's say the histogram for the sake of argument. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, I have to go through the whole... Um, Let's go back out. Yeah, to find the right thing. I yeah. have to go through the whole menu. Oh, where's the histogram? But if that was in my menu, just pull it up. Thanks just pull it away. straight up. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, a great brilliant. idea that is, isn't it? Right. Um, next one. And the next one, um, which again, massive complaint about the Sony's. I think everyone complains about it. Is the, the short battery life? Oh yeah. Yeah. On the Sony's, yeah. the little F. You know these little. Um, Bob's disappeared again, off shot. He's just going to get his battery. These little FW50 batteries yeah. that are in the Sonys, yeah. um, they last half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, You're forever swapping batteries out and changing. Yeah. On this one, look how much bigger that battery is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's close that before I put it down. Look yeah. how much bigger that battery is oh, yeah. compared yeah. to that. But not only is it bigger, it's more efficient. 
you know, with, with this camera, you only have to go out with two batteries, maybe three. Yeah. Shove them in your pocket or a little yeah. pouch. Yeah, they're and not you're away. expensive, are they? Um, no, they're not. Yeah. Well, with the Sonys, I have to make sure I've got half a dozen at least yeah. with me, you know. Yeah. Um, so that right. was a good one. Next one. Um, so it's absolutely wonderful that these cameras do not overheat. And I, I find that a tremendous benefit. But, you know, you can go out. I mean, with the A6500 and the A6300, which I don't own, yeah. they overheat. Yeah. So after 20 minutes, 15 minutes, yeah. the damn thing overheats, yeah. and you have to wait for the thing to cool down. Well, you can't do that. I mean, if you, you work in professionally, Bob, as you well know, I mean, not that we're involved in outside filming like that, other than for our own fun. But for, for the fake, sake of uh, good order, you're out working and your camera overheats. I mean, that's no good to anybody. No, no. I mean, you've got to be able to rely on equipment to be professional. And, and that's, that's in a situation where it isn't extreme heat. No. I mean, my A6500 has only overheated once, but even once is one too many times. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Well, this one, and with a GH4 before it, yeah. it's shooting in 4K, yeah. no overheating issues whatsoever. Brilliant. You can just keep on going and yeah. going and going with yeah. it, which Brilliant. is tremendous. So there's another reason. Yeah. Um, also, Panasonic, uh, in their wisdom, have actually fitted two SD card slots. Oh, fantastic, yeah. So you've got, like you have on the AF100, the AF101, and, one Sony, one, yeah. uh, and Panasonic's Pro range of camcorders, you yeah. know, um, where the Sony ones, again, uh, going back to the Sony A7R Mark II, the yeah. A6500, the RX10 II that's over single, there. Single, single um, one. Yeah, just yeah, a single well, these slot. These are doubles. Yeah, these are doubles. So yeah. you've got redundancy built in. Yeah. So you can recall to uh, one SD card and back up on, and the, back other up on the other one. And can you run them uh, subsequently as well? So you record one and then it switches to the next one to indeed, carry on. Indeed, you So can. in other words, yeah. you double your capacity. You, yeah, you double your capacity. Oh, right. And the other exciting thing with it is that if you're doing a real, say you're doing a conference or a major event, did you know it's hot swappable? No. So as one card's full or yeah. filled up, you can, while it's still recording, take that one out. Brilliant. And swap it over with another yeah, one. Brilliant. Completely hot swappable. Well, it's, like, is, it's like hard drives, isn't it? If you've got a swappable that's hard true, drive, yeah, it's the same yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Fantastic. I mean, I know Sony have introduced twin SD card slots on the A7R2 yeah. and on the A9. Yeah. So, and obviously bigger batteries. Yeah. The other thing which we've covered as well, pretty much, it's got a full size HDMI port. Oh yeah, we did brought is, that out, didn't we? With which the we bracket. brought out with the with the yeah, adapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's brilliant. Um, but uh, it, the other thing is as well, which is pretty similar to the Sony's, although this has got fitted on the the Lumix uh, fourteen to one forty lens. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Which is a you know really nice lens. Yeah. The great thing with Micro Four Thirds, as well as the Sony's, because it's mirrorless, you can adapt the lenses. Uh, to fit it. So, for example, my art lenses, this is one of my Sigma art lenses. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, I love yeah. this lens to bits. Cre creme you know. de la creme lenses, they are, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Well, I've purchased a um, Metabones adapter. Yeah, yeah. And that enables me now, as well as fitting these Sigmas onto me Sonys, yeah, these Sigmas sure. fit on me um, uh, Panasonic as well. So yeah. that just goes in there. No, I won't bother, but that yeah. will then just mount. Yeah. You know, on the um, well, that's the versatility of these short mounts because the thing indeed, is, with with yeah. the with the uh, E mounts, etc., 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 because they're shorter mounts, you can adapt other lenses to fit. I indeed. mean, with the AF one hundred and one, for example, one of the things with that old camera, shall we say now, because it's an older camera, but where filmmakers love it, they can put PL lenses on it. They can put whatever they want. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you can wind it on the front. One one thing that. And I haven't covered with this yet, deliberately, really, is what the image quality and sound quality is like with it, you know. Well, which we'll what, be, what I've seen, it's mind-blowing. Well, well, we'll find that out in the next couple of weeks, John. Yeah. Um, I have got an old Saramonic um, mic adapter, because I do like XLR inputs. Yeah. And with this, um, although it's cabled run into the um, Panasonic, that's another nice thing. Unlike the A6500, it's got mic input and headphone jack. Brilliant. Yeah, well, that's a put, big plus point. You know, that's, oh, yeah, yeah of course a it big is. Plus. You know, the fact is, you don't have to use that. You can use that because uh, well, you've got well, both on. Yeah, but it hasn't got but XLR. The thing, no, 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 no this, got this, XLR, is, this has but, got two XLR But the thing inputs. you've got that, but of course, they make heart shoe one, don't they? Indeed, they do, which is very you know, much like the Sony one. Which is a bit one. more expensive yeah, than that one. Yeah. But 
you can connect straight up there. Straight and in, do the same. And you, uh, does yeah. away with a cable, yeah. Which, yeah. which we will be getting one of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the other thing that we purchased is oh, the cage, the small yeah. rig, yeah. the small rig cage. Yeah. Um, again, once it's fitted in it, it's wonderful. Yeah. I've got on it the um, uh, NATO rail, so I can slide off. Yeah. Well, the, the nice handles. thing with the new cage that we got was it got. NATO rails either side. That's right. Yeah. Plus, uh, Bob's got yeah. an attached one. Yeah. And he's got a long one on at the moment, but he ordered a short one. As I've well, ordered a short one. Yeah. 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 Um, so that that goes on there, and and these cages are great. I mean, I I will have to do a review on the small rig stuff because I love the small rig. Oh yeah, rig, well I've you know. got small rig on my um, on as you know on my G7 yeah, and so yeah. on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's a nifty piece of kit. So that's brilliant, um, Bobby. So there we go. Yeah. That's today's um, uh, chat, techie sort of chat. Yeah, um, number three, number three. Yeah, yeah, number three. So I hope you, uh, me and John really enjoy doing these. And we'll be we getting other guests in uh, yeah. this year, John. We're looking yeah. that Ian's going to come over. Yeah, um, I'm going to do, I want to do some comparisons between the AF101 and the NX5. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We got and the EX, that, yeah. uh, EX1 that Harry's yeah. got. So there we go, everyone. That's, That's uh, today's um, chat. Yeah. And, Really appreciate you coming over again, John. Oh, that's right. It's brilliant. I enjoy it, Bob. It's, uh, um, it's good fun. So thanks for coming over, John. That's right. uh, see you on the next one. For those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Tell all your friends about this channel um, and hit the like button if you like my content because we and me and John enjoy doing this sort of content. Yeah, I'm afraid um, we're not the, the two most handsome blokes in the world, but uh, well, we do have yourself. a lot of fun speak and we enjoy yourself. what we do. <laughs> so thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah. Cheers then. Cheers Bye. for now. Bye.